This is an ABP Life podcast. Hello and welcome to Clear Cut, only on ABP Life podcast. This is your wet and cold newsman Rudrashish signing in on a very very rainy Friday. It's been raining cats and dogs in Noida, and I got awfully late for office today. I had to take shelter under a flyover for almost an hour. You know, I've seen that whenever people gather around to escape from the rain, strangers start talking to each other. And 90% of the time, it's always about recession and politics. And today was no different. A boy who was maybe 10 or 11 years of age came up to us begging for money. And similarly, a boy probably of the same age came up and was trying to sell face masks. Majority of the people gave money to the boy begging for money. but not a single person bought a face mask from the other child after seeing this a man standing next to me said these morons will hand out money who beg for living but won't help someone who's trying hard to make a living i mean the man had a point anyway after getting completely drenched in rain i arrived to office and was just talking about this whole incident with my colleagues And then a recent research done by Ashoka University came up in the conversation. Now, Ashoka University and Kantar's World Panel Division did a research called How India Gives 2020 to 2021, which highlighted that Indians donated a total of rupees 23,700 crore rupees in donations in 2020 to 21. It was also highlighted that middle class donated the most amount of money. That's quite an irony. All right. So today on Clear Cut, let's discuss how and where Indians, especially the middle class, who are always splitting their hair over money, donated in 2020 to 21. So, it turns out that middle class households have donated the most amount of money, and the donation went to either religious establishments or to beggars. I mean, why? The same middle class who run from pillar to post when LPG prices increase, the same middle class who have to bear the brunt and shell out more money during recession, are now donating the most. Now another interesting aspect of the report is that South India has donated the highest, followed by West India. Now going deeper into this report, the study has revealed that 64% of the donations was given to religious organizations. and 61% donations was given to beggars on top of that word of mouth from the family and friends served as an important source of information which accounted for 27% of the total religious donations now 44% of the 23700 crore rupees donation was given by the middle class which is the highest share according to the study to be exact Religious establishments received 16600 crore in donations whereas beggars received a total of rupees 12900 crore rupees Now donations to non-religious organizations or non-governmental organizations such as the PMKS fund came third in the donation list and bagged a donation of rupees 1.1000 crore rupees No seriously what on earth is wrong with the middle class people One day they'll protest against 20 rupees hike in LPG price and on the other day they'll donate not much maybe just 23000 crore rupees to religious organizations and beggars maybe that's crucial for the economy i don't know so that's all the news and scoops i have for you today today's episode was produced by lalit this is your newsman rudrashish kanjidal signing off have a wonderful weekend and keep listening to abp live podcasts This is an ABP Life podcast.